Since its very conception thousands of years ago, agriculture has always had a relationship with nature. People have been changing the natural environment in order to make room to grow food or raise animals for literally ages. And while this has changed natural ecosystems and ecological diversity for a long time, it was only in the 20th and 21st century that agriculture really started to have an impact on climate in a global sense. As industrial approaches to agriculture scaled the ability to produce more food, the impacts on the environment also scaled alongside it. Now, agriculture and its connection to society and its contributions to climate change is a huge topic and we could be here forever talking about it. I don't want to bring you down with tales of doom and gloom. I want to talk to you today about positive things that we can do to improve the situation, to make our agricultural and our food systems better for a healthier planet and for healthier people. So that's why I'm going to talk to you about urban farming today and why we at Farm Will Believe it's such an awesome solution for changing this paradigm. And to do that, we need to start at the UN. All right, so here we are at the UN. It's pretty snazzy here. It's actually 2015 right now, and the UN have just developed their 17 Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs as they're more affectionately known. The 17 SDGs are a shared blueprint for peace and prosperity for the planet now and into the future. They state that ending poverty and other deprivations must go hand in hand with strategies that improve health and education, reduce inequality, and spur economic growth, all while tackling climate change and working to preserve our oceans and forests. Can't complain about that, it sounds pretty good. So like I said, there are actually 17 of the SDGs and we're really interested today in number 13, which is all about combating climate change. In the words of the SDG, it actually says, take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. Now there are five sub-targets within SDG number 13, all related to this main objective, of combating climate change. And the first target is particularly relevant to our discussion today about agriculture and urban farming. And this is what it says. Target 13.1, strengthen resilience and adaptive capacity to climate related hazards and natural disasters in all countries. When we're talking about agriculture and urban farming and food systems, this target in particular is really interesting for two reasons. The first, climate related hazards are in large part being contributed to by our current agricultural practices and food system. And secondly, urban farming can actively build resilience to these hazards while also taking the pressure off our current food system. So climate related hazards are in part being contributed to by current agricultural practices. It's not all bad. Our current food systems are doing a pretty good job of feeding lots of people around the planet. There are also lots of people who are missing out. And while they do play an important role, we are now in a situation where our societies are reliant on a food system that produces unsustainable amounts of greenhouse gases, as well as being linked to many other issues like food waste, deforestation, and desertification. All of these problems are actually symptoms of a mechanized, industrialized system of agriculture invented in the 20th century and that we are still using today. Another piece to add to the puzzle is that the average age of a farmer in Australia is increasing year by year as less and less people take up the career. This only adds to the pressure that our current farms feel to produce more and more food for growing populations, especially in cities. With that being the case, it's understandable to think that the methods that we're currently using that are focused on producing more and more food would seem the only way forward. Or are they? What can we do to create a new food system? One that includes a diversity of practices adapted to the diversity of the environment that we are creating, and certainly one that can cater to growing populations in cities. Enter urban agriculture. By its very nature, Urban farming strengthens our food systems to climate related hazards. And here are four reasons why. Food is often grown closer to where people live. In fact, sometimes it's grown right on their doorstep. So the supply chain is less likely to be broken in times of crisis. With technologies like aqua and hydroponics, as well as the ingenuity of urban farmers to get more from less, we break the cycle of needing to move farms as the soil is degraded. In urban farming, you can't just pick up and move. You have to work with what you've got and lots of urban farmers are doing it in a way, treating the soil right, using regenerative practices to build the soil health up. Urban farming is inherently creative and very challenging to make work. So the people who are urban farmers are also often the type to create innovative solutions 
for closing the loop using materials like insects, food waste, and grey water. And lastly, urban farming and community farms in particular strengthen communities and strong communities are able to support each other through crisis, especially ones related to climate. Now, urban farming isn't without its faults and its impacts. It's not necessarily suitable for growing every type of crop and high-tech solutions like hydroponics require significant investment and use a lot of plastics when first setting them up. The cost of land in the city versus the monetary value that you get from crops can also pose business challenges for urban farms. But one of the biggest challenges that is facing urban farming right now is the fact that a lot of people don't know how to grow food. We've lost that ability. And the biggest challenge with urban farming is going to be empowering and educating and teaching a new generation of farmers who understand not only how to grow food, but also how to grow food in the city. Understanding that challenge and working with the circumstances. However, this all plays a role in the diverse approach that we're talking about. We're not saying that urban farming is gonna replace all of agriculture. It is instead gonna work with a future of food system. Ecosystems like urban farming and rural farming can work together with diverse approaches all focused around sustainability, regenerative practice, and ultimately a system that is resilient to climate change. While urban farming is still in its infancy, its promise is a new way of doing things that are aligned with the UN's 13th Sustainable Development Goal. The fact that it's new is actually one of its biggest strengths, as our current way of farming is institutionalized and well-established, and that makes change within it far slower than we need right now to address climate change. But urban farming as a movement is still growing. And so a new generation of urban farmers can create it with the needed sustainable and regenerative mindset right from the beginning. And if we can do that, we can build the future of food right here in our cities from the ground up.